Okay, welcome back to the Neverwinter Nights 2 original campaign, and I just started the game, so I was stuck in exploration mode for a little bit there. Um, let's see, this is, I think, maybe the fourth, fifth, maybe sixth video I've done on this since finishing the Neverwinter Nights original campaign on the uh, old game. Uh, so there is a fair to middling chance that people might see this before the new year comes out. It is currently 2015 for your reference in September, getting close to October. Anyway, I think it is time to start doing things around town. So we're going to take Nishka, we're going to take Kelgar, we can take one more person. We're going to take uh, hmm, Grobnar. Here we go. Probably should take uh, Kelgar. I actually should probably take Kelgar to the Temple of Tyr and see if he's completed the other trials. I'm pretty sure he just completed the trial of, of the just by his uh, complaints. Oh, is Kelgar with us? is. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to go around town and do some of the, the side quests that are here. I don't know what else we're going to be doing after that, but I'm not actually sure where the main quest is line is right now. Uh, that's Merchant Quarter. That's where we want to go. I am really not sure where the main quest line is right now. And I apparently left um, Facebook on. Oh, bother. Okay, that was a rather ranty post. Sorry, I got distracted from the game there a little bit. We Let's go talk to see if... Uh, is Deacon still here? Deacon is still here. You know, I heard about talking kobold. What's here? What does he say? Come on, I want... No. Oh. You know, I heard about a talking kobold in Waterdeep, but I hadn't put much stock in it. I thought it was one of those wild human stories. You know how humans are. Stories? Deacon likes stories. Epic tales about kobolds. Deacon even writes a few of those and... Even writes a few of those until fingers fall off. Wait, one big hairy moment. You're the one that wrote the tale of Undrin Tide? Deacon cannot lie. Deacon wrote it. All volumes cover to cover plus platinum inlaid edition. And the plague diamond, the plaque diamond encrusted compilation. Oh well, my! I read the version where all the, the all the thes and as were missing. Couldn't make sense of it, but it was a fascinating read, even without the dragon urine. Deacon find it hard to find good proofreader, and tales seemed like it kept starting and restarting all the time. Difficult to keep pace and flow, but P was true. But you're a bard too. You sing, right? By the gods, this is inspiring. I'm so happy to be able to talk with you. Deacon? Deacon happy to speak with Gnome, too. Deacon may need to go back to selling and trading soon, though. Lot to do. 
I was actually interested in your wares. No, 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 not yet. Why, we've only barely begun speaking. I say, do you know any gnome songs? I so rarely meet a fellow musician and writer. Deacon no on gnome song, but, uh, Deacon throat dry. Let it go, gnome. This should be good. But let me move over here, just out of range. Uh, yeah, Grobnar, his voice is dry. His very high-pitched, irritating voice is dry. Okay, just let it go. No, please, I would love to hear it. Deacon not write this one, but Deacon sing it anyway. Clears throat. I like gnomes, so dumb and fat. Fat and dumb and burrows like moles. Shoot them full of arrows, put them on a stick. That's why I like gnomes. My word, just hearing that gives me the shivers. I'll say. That made my tail curl. How pleasant. Now, Grobner, I'm sure he didn't mean... I say, that is genius. The tone, the tempo. You can almost feel the angst and pain of the gnomes as they are filled with arrows and put on sticks. And the theme of the piece, now that is tragedy. In its deepest, most primal form, and the climax, the uplifting portion where the affirmation of liking gnomes is confirmed, and then brought full circle with the physical and emotional double meaning of them being in the mind and in the stomach. Amazing! I say traveling to Devilwinter with you all has been really been broadening my horizons. Who would have thought I'd get to meet a kobold author and playwright? Yeah, I can safely say he's better than you. Oh, I'll say! So glad to have heard that, and I'll have you to thank for bringing me here. Deacon would like to sell something now, or else run and hide in sewer. Okay. Deacon merchant, yes, confusing to Deacon, but Deacon sure it's alright to sit. Oh, what are you doing here? Deacon is bod, singer with scales, running from danger, and writer of tales. You write books? Yes, Deacon, I, I've already read all this. Why, of course they would be, they're, they're genius. Uh, of course, Deacon not think much to do up there but read. But he not heard so much about Icewind recently. Maybe on its last legs, good as dead. Oh, gods, I hope not. If only for your book's sake. Uh, Deacon mostly write epic tales, big stories of travel, but not like Volo. Volo's after quick copper, Deacon thinks. So you're a traveler? Deacon little traveler, little kobold, but big traveler. Deacon been to Shadowdale, water deep, under dark, um... Many mountains and forests and caves. Amazing! Sometimes they can even stop and look at these places when not running and screaming in fear. I can imagine screaming, yes! Never went to the next stop for the Deacon, so here Deacon is. Deacon go where the stories are, as long as stories are outside. Deacon very, very tired of being in dungeons and caves with bad people that throw spells at Deacon. Is it much of a change? Deacon is a little smaller than Waterdeep, lit squares and cubes, more shadows and hills. Also glad land not moving like first epic story. There was some how did you become a merchant? Deacon collect many strange things running around the world, hard to carry. Set them down for a moment on Neverwinter Street to catch breath, and suddenly people start coming up to Deacon and ask to buy things from him. Really? Deacon hungry, so Deacon figured that alright. He put his back hurt from carrying all that stuff anyway, good riddance to all that junk. Deacon thinks. Of course, makes sense to me. Deacon not sure how long market will last though. De big troubles in area, very scary to Deacon. Deacon hear bad things in Luskin City. Luskin City smell bad, but easy to hide there. Looking to do any more traveling? No, no, no. Well, maybe. Deacon might move if Deacon had little shop with roof to keep out rain and cold and no white dragons and no one to call master. A shop? But Deacon know what doesn't know where that is, and Deacon try everywhere in Neverwinter. People not want Deacon to move in. They say Deacon is vermin, attract more kobolds, nest in the walls like rats. If I find a shop place you can set up shop, I'll let you know. Oh, Deacon thanks you. Deacon not picky. Even few holes in the roof, good. Not mine cold too much. He's small, could fit in tiny place. I know how that is. Even ruins is good as long as no monsters or golems or statues. Deacon not like statues. I already did duty a statue before. Not fun. Oh, can I see what you have for sale? Yay! Still the same stuff. Let's... I supposedly got some of the stuff... from... Where is it? I supposedly got some of the stuff from, um... From, uh, Lorne. Oh, yes. But I don't see it anywhere. What do you need? I see what you have for sale. 
Oh, built of agility plus one. I already have a plus eight. Noble's cap. <laughs> plus one charisma. I can afford none of this! None of this, I tell you! Ooh. Ooh. You have a magic bag, you have earth essence, you don't have anything else, really. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the temple. Oh, do 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 do. The temple with the red light coming out of it. That isn't creepy at all. I think this. I'm not sure why it's red. Kelgar has met one of the trials you put before him. Indeed, then let him speak. I think he has faced the trial of the maimed. I met my clan in Old Owl well, made me realize what turning away much from my blood has done. But I was able to put things out right, help them out. I think I, I was able to heal the wound. I heard it in your voice. You have tested, faced the trial of the maimed. Well done. It is not an easy thing for most to see. Your actions do not meet the trials, Kelgar, the Iron Fist, but perhaps you will soon enough. I think he's met another of your trials. Then let him speak. When I was tri proven on trial and proven innocent, Kelgar learned what justice is. When you heard about the Luskin envoy's accusations, when I heard it, well, I saw it red. It wasn't fair. It was lies. Lies that could have cost us our lives without even getting the chance to fight it fairly. I realized there was nothing I couldn't, wouldn't do to clear her name because it was the right thing to do. There's fights you pick and there's and fights that pick you, and when you've got something more than just your pride at stake, that can be stronger than anything your opponent's got. And such strength is the essence of the trial of justice. Your actions do not meet the trials. Wait! Perhaps you will soon. Have Kelgar's met another of your trials? Nope. No, he hasn't. I have not yet gotten him. Follow me. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Talk what to. What is it you want, lass? Let's talk about uh, this. Like who? You seem more well disposed to Nishka than before, even Alani to an extent. Well, that frail lass is one of the copper elves. I am dancing right elves. now. You can't see it. Throw more tolerable than some of the other kin. But she's still an elf. Their kind stood with the shield dwarves in the north, so I'll stand by her if need be. She needs to comb her hair, though, and put a little meat on that slim belly of hers. You'd think she was trying to be a tavern dancer with a belly like that. Huh. Makes my stomach churn. Maybe crazy, but it may qualify as meeting the trial of the even-handed the tier monks put before huh? you. Not a bad idea. Okay, we spoke enough. Let's move on. Actually, I'm curious, because I think I may what have gotten want, influence. Ah, what about it? Huh? We've already, what? I've already had this. What? It makes no sense. It's what? well, it just seems like dodging a fight is whatever you say. Okay. Okay. Nope. Have not gotten enough influence that way. He has learned to judge others on their actions. Well, there was a time when I was quick to judge others based on what little I'd heard. But traveling with the worst, slimiest, and smelliest of tieflings and no one or tree worshipping elves has taught me some of them are all right. So who knows, maybe they're all worth a closer look instead of lumping them all together and passing judgment on the whole bunch of those good for nothings. Ah, uh, right. Very well, seeing the world with such eyes meets the trial even handed. Sort of. We are pleased. You have met the trials, Kelgar of Iron Fist. If you still wish to walk the path of the just and learn how we fight, our doors are open to you. D ah, do I let him choose? <sighs> what do you want to do, Kelgar? I need to think about it. I still have some things I need to work out in my head get straight. Very well. Return when we, you are ready. We shall be here. Never mind, I'll be going now. Huzzah! I don't think I want him.
him being a monk. He's not a very good monk. He's a damn awesome fighter. He's not a very good monk. Oh, yes. Oh, you're not. Yo, oh, you're using a bow. Okay. Stud leather armor plus two. Le Why does the leather armor look. Oh. There we go. Yes. Okay, you're using Ray's Redemption. Good. Everybody, follow me. Awesome. Something you want? Um. Yeah, I want you to put your stuff back on. Okay. What do you need? Uh, let's go talk to Brilena. Everybody. She no, 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 Nishka. Never winter citizen. Okay. Ah, Lieutenant, a pleasure to see you again. Urgent matter has come to my attention recently. I think it's one well suited to your skills. The, sc the thieves here in Neverwinter were greatly weakened by your efforts at the docks, yet they constantly strive to reclaim their foothold here. It has come to our attention that a group of them have put out word they are looking to buy equipment and supplies to continue their operations. Notably, thieves, tools, lockpicks, poisons, and more. can't let them purchase those supplies. Agreed. We must stop them in soon. We think this is an opportunity to capture them by pretending to be a merchant blind the wares they are seeking. We want you to take the role of a noble and arms merchant who has come to the Black Lake District to sell goods from Arm. Much of the same goods those thieves have requested. These thieves will no doubt approach you and when they do I want them arrested. Won't I be recognized? I'm sure that any thieves from the docks would recognize me on sight. How many of those are still alive? I do not know if you've heard the descriptions of you being passed around the docks. But suffice to say that no one will recognize you when all they seem to know of your appearance is a holy warrior, a disciple of faith, who is surrounded by a light so bright it hurts, the, it burns the eyes. I'm not quite a holy warrior. I'm a swashbuckler. Despite your accomplishments, your legendary accomplishments, apparently, I think there is little chance the reality will match the duty, the r rumor. I should carry out my duty. Excellent! I'm glad you are with us on this plan. You may keep whatever the thieves are carrying with them to pay for the goods. That should be most more than enough to pay for your services and time. I have marked an empty estate on the map where I want you to go for the thieves. Make contact with the watchmen there. They can fill you in on the details. Huzzah! Excuse me, I did not mean to burp. Okay, oh, world map transition. Let's see if I'm able to do anything with the bard here. I don't think I can. I think he's going to make an absolute fool of me because my perform skill is non-existent.
Selune is one of the most ancient goddesses of Abertoral and continually at war with her dark sister, Shar. Very, very true. They supposedly created the world. Sar uh, Shar doesn't much like Maestra either, since Maestra controls the weave of magic and Shar created the shadow weave. Hey, there's the painter's place. What's this? Come to challenge Kane, have you, love? Oh, that's you. I uh, just want your, your autograph. Is that so? Well, I'm in the middle of a concert here, for Ogma's sake, so go kiss a rust monster. Okay, well... Make it short. I have a crowd to play. Right. Here are the rules, then. Very simple. I play a tune, you play it back. Get it right, I have to play it again, defending my honor, so to speak. If I succeed, it's a draw. If I fail, you win the round. After four rounds, the crowd picks me as their beloved champion, and you go change your trousers before anyone notices the wet spot. Simple. What do we get if I win? I do not like you. Seriously, what do I get? Standard wager is loser gives up his loot. Now, my instrument is from such fine stock that taking the loser's loot's not exactly an upgrade, is it? So usually I'm a good sport and let him keep it. Or what's left of it after I snap it over his talentless head. How generous of you. I seriously want to play this as a bard sometime. How generous Don't of you. let that stop you. Come on, give us a shot then. Okay, let's That's play. the spirit, love. Have your loot ready? Sorry, no loot. Well, this... Oh, yeah, look at me. Ooh, look. I don't need a loot. I'll just walk near a baby with my horrible swamp stench and it'll cry me a beautiful symphony. Ah. <sighs> well, can I play without a loot or not? Here, take this one. <laughs> Always keep a loner on hand in case another of you lootless loonies comes up here thinking he's the next cane. Right. Let's get on with the show. Ladies and gentlemen of Neverwinter, are you ready? I love you, Kane. See how you like this one, for starters. Your turn, love. Take all the time you need. No pressure. Just all of Neverwinter's well-to-do's watching your every move. Hmm. You know, I had the tune up there in my head, but then I started thinking about pastries and it all got jumbled around. You're able to actually remember the tune. How am I able to do that? Dun 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 dun. That's a seven. Oh. Hmm. You know, I had the tune up there in my head, but then I started. Okay. Dun 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 dun.
I am going to fail Sorry to say, we're going to have a much harder time with this next one. Uh-oh, love. Really liked that one, didn't they? Oh, just... It kind of makes sense I fail this. Don't worry. Right. I'm not playing down to your level any longer. Shh. Did you hear that? I could swear I just heard a noose tightening around. Yep. If you're a bard, you get. If you have a high perform skill, you get to do this. You get to lit replay it as much as you want. This is where we set This is the last round. If we're going to win, we're going to need to work even harder than before. I want you to play that last one with me as a duet. I'm sorry. Oh, I skipped past it, didn't I? I guess it's because I'm not I, the the bell rang and I'm not really Well, love, I never thought I'd say it, but I've rather enjoyed this. And now that we're almost done, I'd be honored to have your autograph. I mean, the autograph of a musician so bad he made the audience's ears actually cry. Yeah, it's got to be worth something, right? <sighs> I'm going to fail. That's tough luck there. Well, what say, ladies and gents? Am I your man? Or is it this thing? Come on, let's have a cheer for good old Kane! You're going to lose unless you do something, and quick. Yeah, I'm going to lose. Lose. Oh, uh, yeah. Set create Kane on fire and steal his joke. Oh, it's What's the deal with Water Davians? Tell you what, what they have, they'd be ha ha having. Hi, I have a beard and I'm really old. Failure. I'll remind you, pity applause will only encourage her. Ah, uh, too bad, love. Thought you really stood a chance there. For those first few moments before I heard you play. Yeah, oh, well. of the eight Better characters I have time, for the original campaign now, running right now, wants to have a piece of old cane today? including this one, none of them are bards and none of them have a perform skill. So, unless I want to start an entirely new campaign, which I probably don't. I gotta admit, I was gonna lose that one from the get-go. Okay. I wish they made Kane a little bit less of a jerk. Because he's a jerk. He's a big, big, big jerk. He de jerk, jerk, jerk. Though I will tell you this. I will probably look up the, the appropriate... Um, did I click the save? I did click the save, it's just being very slow. I will probably look up the appropriate strings to pluck, because my personal music skill is really, really low, and I can't really distinguish a lot of the, the notes. So I would probably, if I played this through as a bard, I would probably look it up and have it written down and do dee 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 -de the right way. <sighs> Not a bard rather than pl actually trying to f 
figure it out. I generally do that with music-based puzzles because I just... It's frustrating and I can't tell the difference between some notes. Not everybody's going to be able to. That is kind of a distinction. I'll save again. I mean, that's just a physical thing sometimes. Some people just can't tell the difference. So I have no concern at all for those people. No, no care at all for those people that go to a walkthrough to figure out a musical. Uh, a, a complex musical riddle. It's really, they're kind of annoying to me. Anyway, I'm going to turn off parry mode and let's talk to you in a little bit.